Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another Saturday Somethings with Mats. Hi, I'm Mats, and it is hot, hot summer. It is July, and I have our general manager with me today, David Bentley, and we are celebrating all wines French in honor of the upcoming French Olympics in Paris. Bastille Day is our 4th of July, and before I go on with David, I want to thank all of our viewers and listeners who made our Father's Day Whiskey Wheel event so successful. David, how much money did we raise for charity? Uh, over $8,000 for the uh, Denver Children's Home. Um, we also, uh, for Pride Month, um, we, we raised about three or $4,000 through uh, Tito's. Uh, Coors, yep. uh, Coors Light, Vizzy, um, right. we, and we matched the donation for the center on Colfax. So that so was also great. amazing. It was a big month for us uh, for donations, but you no, know, we can't do that without you guys. Right. And so appreciate you guys shopping here, and you know, happy to give back. So all absolutely, right. it just meant the world. Absolutely. So today it's all about France, and as you know, it is the 29th of June. And I will be tasting all of these today at the wine desk from three until four. It's free, just bring your ID. So it's all about France, David. Let's start with this beautiful, beautiful Sancerre. I love the nose because it's lemon, it's citrusy, it's... Green apple. Mm -hmm. It's so tasty. And people have asked me in the store, Mats, drinking wine at nine, why are Sancerre so expensive? And I will tell you, because they've had such low yields in the past five years of premium Sauvignon Blanc that they have to raise the price because it demands it and it earns it. So that's why, you know, they're, they're picking the best of the best in the Loire Valley of Sauvignon Blanc. So that shoots up the price of Sancerre. And Michela has these on sale and they're very affordable and they're so good for a, tr a true Sancerre, a true Sauvignon Blanc. It's not your morning glass of a grapefruit juice. No. David, what, what notes are you getting? Uh, the green apple, mm -hmm. a tiny bit of mint. I interesting enough on sure. those. And this is, you know, it's not on the, you know, it's crisp, but it, it's right. balanced. I like that, um, absolutely. You know, mm. if I was to blind taste it, I might even say it had, you know, Chardonnay, but it's obviously Sauvignon Blanc. Right, right. Um, just beautiful, elegant, but refined. just a, yeah, easy to, you know, and, porch pounding well, Sancerre. Well, <laughs> porch pounding Sancerre, but. Why not? Can, well, okay. Wine at nine. <laughs> you can definitely have this with grilled chicken Caesar salads. Tonight I'm having those. You can have it with uh, Waldorf salad, something that's so versatile because this wine speaks for itself. Salmon, black and salmon. Oh, that's a good one. Which goes to wine number two. This is a beautiful Cote de Rhone Blanc. The Paul Jabolet, they've been around since 1834, and it's an intoxicating, that nose, hello, it's an intoxicating blend of Viognier, Marsan, Roussan, a little Berbalink, a little uh, Grenache Blanc and some Claret, but it's still dry. Mm. Very floral. You yeah, I was your, gonna say that the extremely yeah. floral nose. You get your gardenias, your white peach blossoms, your apricots. And this has a nice tannic structure yes. as well. It, it really does. And this is under $15. I would consider a food, a food yes, wine. Yes, absolutely. I, you know, this uh, could be cheese, every day. Uh, charcuterie. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Uh, soft cheeses, um, brie, camembert, mm -hmm. brisson. You don't want anything aged or hard or too crusty with cheeses. You want both of them to complement each other. And this is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous Cote de People usually think, okay, Cote de Bronze are red. Well, surprise, this is white. And it's just, it has finesse and style. 
It's delicious. Oh, it is. Uh, mm. What else would you pair with this? Um, I mean, I'd probably go with, I mean, you could even honestly do a, a red meat. You've got like a, this this a, could be a white wine that you have a steak with. A flank steak, skirt yeah. steak, a tuna fish sandwich, grilled ahi. You know, it's endless yeah. because wine shouldn't be relegated to white wine with chicken or fish. It's what you like. It would, it's what pairs well with you and your palate, and that's what makes drinking wine so fun. Okay, wine number three, this beautiful Beaumatin Rosé. A gorgeous, gorgeous blend of Cabernet Merlot, a little Cinso, and Grenache. Rose petal mm -hmm. on the nose on this one. Strawberry, rhubarb, hibiscus. Yeah, I was this, gonna say hibiscus yeah, as yeah. well. This comes from the Languedoc, so this is very, very, very far south in France, close to the Mediterranean Sea, and you can get the the limestone and the alluvial notes that just represent this. Granted, a lot of great rosés come from Provence, but every now and then, Michel will, you know, throw you a bone and say, hey, try this from the Languedoc. And it's just been what I call a sleeper rosé because it's not name brand, it's not from Provence, but it delivers. And strawberry on the palate. Yes. But it's, not too much. Right. It's still dry. Yeah. It's still dry, but, but you know. Mm. It's so flavorful. Fantastic. And tasty and affordable. We don't have much left, so y'all come on down because, you know, Miss Sheila, she's got amazing prices. And when we're out, sometimes we're out, sometimes not. But this rose really delivers. And being hot, hot summer, the perfect, perfect rosé. Pour this over crushed ice with maybe a squirt of lime. Make yourself a little rosé oh, cocktail. Yeah. You, we've Doesn't done that before yes. on, on the show, or you have. Yes, yeah. it's just such a novel idea, but I make these videos for you, so take away what you want and just have fun with it. So David, the last one is the Panier Champagne. Founded in 1899 by Louis Panier, this is your, ooh, love that, typical champagne. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. Founded in 1899, which, little side note, fun fact, celebrating the upcoming Paris Olympics, and Paris has hosted the Olympics twice before in 1900 and 1924. But this. Do you think they're gonna swim in the river? They are, and the River Seine, they absolutely are. They need to clean it up first, but you know, that's up to Paris. But yes, that's one of the venues. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Uh, the Champagne, Brioche, yeah, Hazelnuts, Little Pie Crust, Pie Dough. It's not terribly heavy. I wouldn't consider this a fall, yeah, a fall Very winter crisp. Champagne. It's more great with fried chicken. Yes, and potato chips. I love that combination. It's so it's such an easy drinking true french champagne under forty dollars who knew great for celebrations absolutely and just to let our viewers and listeners out there champagne just isn't for super bowls or new year's eve or the birth of a child it's every day it's a beverage you can drink it to start the party going to start the grilling the evening celebration because it Fourth is, of July. yes, it is a beverage and it's such a tasty, wonderful beverage. Don't overlook it because with these hot days upon us, it's so cool and refreshing. And this has been such an amazing lineup. David, yeah. thank you. Cheers for Cheers. joining me at it's the table. Yeah, always enjoy our time together. Yes, and thank you again for your support with Whiskey Wednesdays and as you know, David's face Pride is and, yes, yeah. part of that. Uh, again, cheer, cheers to all of you. Yeah. Right? It really sh shocked how much money we raised for, for our community. And um, you make it, it happen. And you guys, you make it happen. So. And so we want to reward yeah. you with these amazing prices, a tasty lineup, and 
we hope to see you soon. Right. So thanks for watching, cheers, David. Lassie. Cheers, thanks for having me. Absolutely, we'll see you soon.